guys. Well, uh, excuse the uh, air conditioner in the background. That's what that is. It has just been hot. It's been stupidly hot today. And yeah, so got the AC running. Tomorrow is uh, a range day, believe it or not. Yes, uh, did not really want to say it on camera until I had it down pat packed that we were going. So yes, tomorrow's a range day. Gonna go out, um, get some videos done, and hopefully uh, do some little extra for you folks right there that is tuned in. This is my uh, range bag uh, slash, I guess, everyday bag, I guess, that I was. Uh, I used to take this to work all the time, but I, I kind of quit uh, just because it was so, um, found myself every time trying to take something large and pack it up and everything, it just wound up being a problem. And just me being lazy and not wanting to go. So, uh, this is actually one of the first and rare times that I actually am setting everything up the night before. So I got my uh, hearing protector, my champion uh, hearing uh, covers from, uh, actually I won that from a, a YouTuber's giveaway. Isn't that pretty cool? And uh, along with my shooting glasses. I like these, I won. Uh, these are two items that was included with a, a whole bunch of stuff that I won. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just trying to rearrange this bag and see if I can fit everything in there. Okay, so uh, yes, uh, we got a couple of Rugers to take. So we're gonna do some videos on that. You'll see that in a bit after this. So I got a little bag of ammo here. I'm just trying to uh, put together some ammo. All right, so what, did, what am I gonna decide to take here? Well, um, I always want to take, I always wind up taking more than I shoot, but um, I like to make sure I, I bring everything that I might want to shoot. I don't want to get there and be like, oh, you know, I wish I would have taken that. Uh, I'm definitely going to take a 1911, and I figured uh, we'd break out the classic uh, Colts again. So, I like the way it shoots. Um, it it kind of is a safe queen, but uh, she comes out every now and then. And, and goes to play. What, what good is it to have it and not shoot it? So I, I want to shoot it some more. And uh, let's see, old Dirty Harry is going to come with us. I uh, haven't shot it for a while. This is the big 8 and 3 8 uh, Model 29 I got. Um, haven't, I, when I first got this gun, I shot it a ton. Um, but uh, I eh, haven't lately, so I figured I'd bring it out. And I'm just trying to also think for video's sake, uh, what we haven't done, what hasn't uh, come come around. There we go. That's the way it fits in there. <laughs> just trying to pack everything in there. All right, now that can go back in there somewhere. I don't know. Okay, I think that. Okay, that. And of course, you got the Rugers, and then um, I got some uh, polymer bullets, to, uh, some more of the fall, uh, 40 caliber, but a uh, 40 caliber polymer stuff so um, it's in pieces right now but here's the frame so let's let's tuck the frame in there and the uh, of course the 40 caliber barrel the stock barrel that came with let's put that in there get the spring somewhere up here yeah here it is okay let's make sure I pack everything for it I got the slide over there, I gotta grab that. So, yeah, all right. Might need the uh, nine millimeter barrel. Yeah, here's the nine millimeter uh, barrel. I'll grab and throw that in there too. Uh, may not actually use it, but what's in here? Heard it, heard it hit some, oh, more shells, great. <laughs> okay, don't need to take empty shells because we need to come back with empty shells. <laughs> okay, um, a lot of it's just kind of going through some of this ammo and, and burning it up a little bit. I gotta, I mean, I'm not a very good person about keeping ammo. I got usually just throw it in a bag or whatever I got. Let me see what's in. This is, looks like some, yeah, some 45. Good, I'll take that. It's the thing when you start hand loading, I swear. I got so much of this stuff just laying around. Oh, look at that. I got a couple speed loaders. 
Some 44 special. Definitely gonna need that. I know I got some more 44 special somewhere. I gotta dig this stuff up, man, and shoot it. Now, here's some more. I know I got more of this. This is actually, uh... Yeah, this is, this is older stuff, too. I remember just loading that, that truncated cone stuff. I got more of this stuff somewhere else in the... The messy closet that I dare not show you. Because it's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not quite ready to embarrass myself that, that, in that way on YouTube. Okay, I'm probably going to have to take another bag, but I'm just kind of getting this stuff allocated and set aside. And get it ready. Uh, I may take out some uh, little targets um, to shoot or something or get something going um, for the giveaway stuff. So, but yeah, alright, that's the gist of it right here. Um, let me grab that Glock slide and just make sure because you know what in the morning I, I'll admit you guys I'm like I wind up just rushing and throwing stuff together always getting there and then oh I uh, didn't grab that oh I didn't oh shoot you know just uh, okay I guess that's um, something for later <laughs> so oh oh I know what I'm forgetting a can of ballastol I'm gonna make sure I throw in a can of ballastol in here I always wind up not having uh, um, gun oil at the range, so that, that stuff. By the way, I'm liking that stuff more and more. As you guys know, you've been following the vlogs. So, okay. Oh, yeah. I got a whole big box of 38 special right over there. <laughs> you can't see it, but it's right there. Um, yeah, I got to throw that in there. That's part of the, the reason uh, I. Well, of course, to do videos as well. I borrowed a couple Rugers for this. Borrowed a couple Rugers. I think you'll, you folks will like that. Um, so I got a big, big old box over there of 38 special. I need to shoot up. So that gives you a hint of what they are right away, right now. Unless, of course, you read the description <laughs> of the video. So, okay, okay. All right. I think we, we're packed up and ready to go. Oh, yeah. I'll show you the Rugers right now. Check this out. Oh, well, guys, I just got a couple of uh, Rugers to do some videos with. So these do belong to a friend of mine. I got them on loan. So I figured bring them to you. I'm going to do some videos with them upcoming. So they've been kind of tucked away uh, for a while with my friend. So we're going to go ahead and actually take the grips off and do a once over on these before, we, um, before I get them out. And I did clean them up. A little bit with him some time back I knew he had them I, I said uh, you know I would love to do some videos of these and he said well absolutely um, let's do that so yeah I'm just kind of doing some prep work before the video videos uh, get made and everything so but I figured uh, go ahead and show you guys firsthand this is an older one this is a Ruger security 6 357 Magnum really neat uh, I like the way it looks looks like a Smith & Wesson now always good to uh, go underneath the grips of these things and check them out now this one is in really good shape isn't that awesome so put that down there I'm gonna go ahead and do this one this is a uh, this is a Blackhawk yeah Ruger Blackhawk 357 got an old half cock to free up that cylinder I like that the old school way now I have not uh, not shot any of these uh, ever uh, not these particular ones and not uh, not any uh, Ruger uh, Blackhawks or, or um, security sixes at all so let's pop the grips off of these Might have to uh, give it a little tap right through here. Take the end of this screwdriver and just, there we go. Put those aside. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this out of there. 
Wow, that is interesting. This Ruger does not have the uh, transfer bar or anything. This is probably what uh, caused them to make all the uh, safety engagements on there. You can see the firing pin protruding through the frame. Another way to check too is, uh, yeah, this one even goes back as far as where they didn't put any of the warning labels all over their gun. I wonder if they did it to this one. Yep, they put it up here. So This one happens to have a really low serial number too. Really cool. All right, so I'm just gonna get them uh, cleaned up a little bit here. And yeah, of course, we're gonna use the old uh, ballastol. That on the cylinder. Let's do this one here. But yeah, I just wanted to show these to you before we uh, do any kind of um, videoing with them. Just want to get them, get them out and. the actions out a little bit and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let the uh, ballastol kind of cure on it a little bit just to help get them back in shape again like I said these have been tucked away for a little while my friends had them for years and years um, never shot them so Spray down in there. Yeah. Yeah, because we'll uh, probably take them out and shoot them a little bit. You can always uh, tell an indication of some uh, owner had put a little bit of uh, paint on there. So that's an indication somebody did have fun with it and shot it quite a bit. So. Anyway, yeah, I uh, figured I'd just kind of give them a little bath a little bit here with some of the ballastol. Um, yeah, just kind of <laughs> lube it up. So get them both ready for a future video here uh, coming up. I don't know when we'll get around to uh, doing some videoing with it and everything. But uh, yeah, okay, now that uh, we definitely got ballastol everywhere. Um, Yes, I know I'm kind of a little, uh, um, ex, uh, I'm not, uh, I don't hold back a little bit with the lube, especially now that we got, uh, got some coming in at this, uh, in my friend's shop and everything. So, and he's been, uh, really cool about giving me a nice price on this stuff. So I'm not paying uh, full blown retail, getting a little discount on it. So, and, uh, really happy that it's around now. But uh, it does really, I've been impressed with what it does to the metal of the gun. So that's why I'm kind of just slathering it on there. Even though somebody once said, oh, you know, you shouldn't do that, whatever. Um, actually, like Hickok45 says, he's been doing this for years. Interesting thing about Ballastol is that I did hear uh, a story about, uh, somebody was mentioning um, the reason it got so well known in uh, America really because it is a German product was because of YouTube go figure so um, as a youtuber myself and l been liking this stuff I am proud to be able to make videos with it and show it off great stuff ballastol and these are a couple Rugers hey guys so yes we are gonna do the giveaway for what that's right my little uh, scrapbook I put together for you folks. Um, again, uh, I apologize if it's not the uh, most, I am not, I, I bet you my friend's kids could have done better than this. But anyway, that's handmade from yours truly, Bat Jack JW. okay? Now, uh, I made it pretty clear about the rules or what, what um, you had to basically leave a comment. It was simple. You wanted in on the book, and so I had two entries. 
And that was uh, Joe P. and Varen Capon. Um, so I cut your names up right here, five each. You can pause the video and see that. I'm pretty sure of it. In fact, I'll go ahead and go again. So we got one, two, three, four, five of Varen. One, two, three, four, five of Joe. Okay. Now I don't do this any fancy way. I just uh, grab a grab your names, put it on slips of paper like this, and I uh, got the old ammo can, the old spam can of ammo from. Uh, this is actually was used in the Cody's giveaway if you remember that. So, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and just slice these up. Actually, here I'm gonna slice them up, and I'm gonna fold them in half each one. I'm going to go ahead and fold these in half and, and I put them all in there. Alright. There we go. Everybody's going in there. Well, I guess the two people. <laughs> Alright. You'll have to trust me that I'm not going to look when I draw this. That's why I'm also folding them in half. Um, and I want to do small, uh, there will be small giveaways here. I'll try to do some stuff that I can put in an envelope and mail you. Okay. I'm going to point it that way. All right, now again, okay, nothing fell out. <laughs> I'm just gonna reach in there. I'm not even looking now. That's it. Mix them up with my hand and grab one, just one. I got one. Okay, and the winner is Joe. Joe P, you have won the scrapbook. So, all right, um, send me a message on where you want me to ship this. Uh, in my um, in my personal messages, uh, how you find out is if you just go to the top of the uh, YouTube page there, um, just go to the about section on my uh, my Combat 86 radio show. It just says about. Uh, you'll see it at the top right. It says uh, you know you got home videos, playlists, channels, uh, discussion, and about. If you hit about, it'll say send me a message. And that's where you um, that's where you put it. So send me a message of where you want me to ship this, and I will get this out to you as soon as I can. And uh, there's your winning ticket. And I'm gonna put it in the book. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there, right there in the book for you. Okay, Joe. So thanks for entering. Um, I appreciate it, everybody. There you have it. And I'll see you tomorrow.